everybody. So glad that you are here. This is a timeless reading on what your spirit guides want you to know, but it is a January, the beginning of January of 2020. And this could be a January pool or a love pool or a yearly spread for you. Maybe just put something in your mind and hold the energy close to you as you pick which cards or which pile that you think represents you. There will be numbers located on each pile and each of those numbers will represent a certain meaning and why you are attracted to them. Hello, group one. If you chose this pile, then you chose 56. And the number for 56 with a five and a six, five representing struggles, conflict, change, or maybe instability in six uh, is communication, harmony, cooperation, and making adjustments to those changes. Now, also 56 is an 11, which is a master number, and it could represent um, life lessons, and this could be directly to you, or it could also be a one and a one, which equals two, which is balance, partnership, duality, and choices. So I see in this one that maybe possibly you might be having conflicts with your significant other or um, there could be just things that have been going on and it's time for a change. So let's just kind of look at our cards and we're going to start with the tarot here and see what it has to show you guys. So we've got the six of swords. The knight of wands. The Two of Cups, Mother of Pentacles, and the Emperor. I'll probably scoot him over a tad here. Excuse me. Okay, so the first thing that I'm seeing is that there has been some kind of, um, as, as the Six would say, that this communication, there maybe there was a conflict and it was time to move on. Or maybe there is not necessarily a conflict. It doesn't have to be um, a conflict. It could be something that just needs to change or something that maybe no longer is working for you and your partner or working for you and your work life or wherever the case is. I feel that there might be something that's no longer working for you and you have the strength and the courage to change whatever needs to be changed. Um, and the fact as you're going from um, these waters, these really rough waters to something uh, different and new and something that serves you a little better. The Knight of Wands brings on um, a high energetic um, energy and this Knight has <clears throat> messages and, and there could be something spiritual that uh, needs to be changed. We've also got the Two of Cups, which is a partnership, which makes me believe that this could be something to do between you and your partner. There is, um, <clears throat> I believe that's the Cancer sign, and a Cancer is deep feelings. It's this motherly instinct, and here we also have the Mother of Pentacles. So I'm seeing a very um, intuitive uh, and mothering change that maybe, um, but on the other hand, we also have the emperor who is, um, knows what he wants, knows how to get it and is very structured in those beliefs. So it could be that you have a certain idea and your partner has a certain idea and they may not necessarily go together completely. However, if you were to unite these ideas in some way or another, there could be something that works with this in a beautiful way. Let's see what else we're pulling. So there is a resilience. There's a lot of the things that you have gone through or you have gone through with your partner or through your business or what, um, whatever question you had in your mind. It's been going on for a while, this, this turmoil. And you might, you're becoming resilient to it, which means that you can carry the heavy load. And it could be time for that change, like we were talking about, something something to unite the two of you together. We have 
uh, Capricorn and Cancer. Wow. So that makes me feel like a Cancer and a Capricorn very, very easily. Um, you have one uh, person that is, and if, if you are a Capricorn, happy birthday, by the way, this is your time. So I feel like the Cancer <laughs> that a Capricorn, you know, they use, they use what they have. We have I don't know if he's in the shot, but my little puppy is trying to come through. Sorry, group one. Okay, so Capricorn, um, they don't care what risk. They don't care how hard it is. They're like little mountain goats that jump up on the mountain, no matter how steep or how risky it is to get to the top. They're going to get to the top like the emperor. And Cancer is a very motherly, intuitive instinctual woman who has a lot of feelings and a lot of love which reminds me of the mother of pentacles and a little bit of the two of cups i do feel that whatever change is coming or what change needs to come that it'll come with a unification of being very motherly on one hand and very intuitive and um, maybe bringing your little overbearing side down a minute and maybe even um, combining those feelings with the Capricorn. There's my dog. I'm so sorry. Come here. No, you're in the way. People can't see. <laughs> Sweetheart. Okay. Sorry, group one. <laughs> Come here. Okay. Um, so this person who, uh, has the need to get to the top or a need to feel um, like they're using everything in their power to get everything that they desire. There has to be a unification of the two of you. There has to be um, an intuitive and somebody who uses the worldly realm. And you, you use those, uh, you combine those, so you unite the two so that your cups run full, so that you and your partner or you and your situation is going towards it with the best of its ability with resilient and the change that needs um to happen so group one uh, again i'm just seeing that uh certain changes need to be made and that there is a lot of intuitive and um worldly uh logical unification that just needs to be put together and be used at the best of its ability in this pool so if you picked card one that's what i'm seeing or I'm sorry, if you picked pile one, that's what I'm seeing for you guys. If this resonates with you, I would appreciate the thumbs up. Where's my thumb? Hello, there's my dog. Thumbs up. <laughs> and um, uh, just maybe a comment or a subscription if that works for you guys. I appreciate you. Um, love, light, namaste. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Hello, group number two. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to give that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Group number two, this is for you. You picked number 10 and number 10 can be a one or a 10. A one meaning new beginnings and a 10 meaning a completion. And as it is the beginning of the year, although this card reading is timeless, um, it might be a wonderful reason for you to pick this pile for you to start new projects and to end the things that are ready to be ended. Number 10 is a reflection of hopes and also non-hopes. It's beginnings and non-beginnings. It's this and that. And this is a time for mental clarity. It is time to open your eyes and find out what it is that works best for you. Open up your own mind, not somebody else's mind. You know, a lot of people like to give advice. Well, this worked for me and this worked for me. We well, should try something this way. No, try it this way. I also see that we have given up our power so long now that it is time to take back the control. Otherwise, your mind is just going to chatter so hardcore that you will never be able to listen anyway. That is what I'm feeling so far for this group. Let's start with the tarot and see what they have to say. So first we have the King of Pentacles. The Page of Swords. The Hierophant. Daughter of Pentacles. 
and Ace of Cups. Already I feel as if we are energetically excited about the whatever's coming up. If it's a new year, new relationship, new job, we are excited and we are moving forward quickly. Um, we have certain perceptions about this uh, new year or new feeling or new partner or whatever it may be. We are highly, highly excited and motivated for this. We feel like we have gone through um, many lessons to get us to this point and we feel like we've mastered these lessons. And I feel as if more structure this time around might help out a little bit better instead of, you know, just winging it instead of just going with the flow, which is always good. Maybe put a little bit more mental clarity into what it is that you want, into what it is that you need. And is this, is this going to feel right? Um, just because, you know, your best friend did it this way, is this the right way for you to move forward in this situation. It is time to open up your own mind. Um, I feel like your mind might have been chattering quite a bit about something and it's hard for you to focus because you've just got so much on your mind and you're not really looking inward towards you to bring forth those new thoughts and know those new ideas. Um, maybe find a spiritual practice or some kind of structured uh, moments for you to learn how to control your thoughts and control your mind. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, we also have pleasure. Abundance from within. Yep, looking within will be the pleasure that, it, that you're looking for because only you know what it is that you like. I mean, everybody may know what you like on the surface, but only you know what you really truly need to make yourself work, to make the world go round. Only you can do that. And we have Aquarius, an air sign, which is something that you know. You know, you know it from within. You can feel it from within. Um, uh, mental clarity is just pouring out of these cards. And one more, oh, ha, air element. Can you even imagine? Communicating, feeling, the air, air is a, a mental clarification card. It's something that you need to say, communicate with yourself, with your, excuse me, <laughs> communicate with yourself from within. Know who you are. Do you know who you are? Do you know how deeply you feel? Do you know your strongest desires? Do you know how to reach your strongest desires? Do you know how to get what it is that you've always wanted in this lifetime? If you don't know the answers to those questions, start writing everything down. The answers may not come today, but now that you have them written down, now that you know what it is that you're looking for, you can step towards your goals a little easier, a little faster. You can find that pleasure in life and with the King of Pentacles and that mastery that you have, you can find that. And it is time to slow the mind down and come up with some kind of practice to be able to focus completely on what it is that you feel that you need to focus on. There is a lot of new ideas and a lot of enthusiasm in this card pool. So whatever it is that you're striving for, whatever it is that you're going for, whether it's, you know, career, love, or spirituality, or anything like that, this is the time. This is your perfect opportunity to take a breath, focus what it is that you're doing. Yes, take a breath, air element, breathe, communicate from within what your soul needs, not what everybody else thinks your soul needs. What do you think your soul needs? You will find pleasure beyond your wildest dreams if you look from within. We have this hard, long time a uh, habit of of having others tell us what to believe in and how to believe in it and this is the only way it goes and this is the only way you're supposed to think and do it this way and only this way and it's been, everything every choice has been taken from us and sometimes that's very much needed i'm not taking that away from your childhood or whatnot but 
have you ever decided to say, what about me? What do, what do I feel about this situation? I know what the world thinks. I know what the church thinks. I know what the boss thinks. I know what my partner thinks. But what do I think? What do I think? So um, for pile number two, you picked 10. And in 10, I see this effort of finding your true self. Uh, ending the old habits uh, that no longer serve you and starting a brand new life of really understanding and really coming to know who you are on the inside. So if this resonates with you, please, please give me a thumbs up. I would love to hear how this resonates with you. If you want to comment down below, I appreciate every single one of you and I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Love, light, namaste. Hi, group number three. So this is number 91, and I feel like here we have a nine and a one, which is a 10, which is um, coming to completion, and also one zero is one, so it leaves room to start new projects. Um, I feel not necessarily dense or whatnot, but I do feel like, um, this number is coming with a bit of chaos or a little bit of struggle lately. Um, I do feel like the end is in sight for you guys, whatever it is that you might have been struggling with. Um, there is an ending and um, a completion maybe coming towards that, hopefully for you guys and uh, the light at the end of the tunnel is what I'm kind of seeing is like opening up its uh, doors for a whole new opportunity. So first is what we're gonna do here is start with the tarot and let's see what you get. We have Ace of Swords. So yeah, new beginnings. I like it already. We also have <laughs> 10 of Swords. New beginnings and coming to the completion of um, Three of Swords. The Fool and Three of Cups. Okay. So, maybe I'm feeling whether, whether it's um, heartache or uh, financial pains. I do feel financial pains a lot, actually, and maybe that's what's causing the heartache. And it's strange, too. And I, I understand it was just Christmas and Hanukkah and all the holidays, but I do see that there has been a strain financially, and um, things need to change here. Things definitely need to come to a halt. If it is a partnership, I do feel that um, what isn't serving you needs to either be let go of or needs to change. We have a three and we have a three. So maybe um, adding information, adding knowledge, having an outside source help with anything in your, um, in your financial abilities or in your uh, partnership, if you can have an outside source talk to you, if you're looking for a life coach or something like that, I'm seeing that this can help you through this painful time. Because we have we have these new beginnings here that are ready to burst free inside of you, but you are clinging to these past wounds, these wounds that have caused you some heartache and some uh, trying times. And we have got to step back from what hurt us or what is hurting us, whether it be financially or someone or a job or a family member, whatever the case is, some kind of relationship uh, with someone or something in regards to you that is not serving you, that is causing you heartache, that is causing you pain, that does not work. You are growing. You have been growing from this. It has been trying to show you lessons and it is time for you to step away and figure out what it is that you're trying to say. And there is somebody who can help you with this. There is a outside party that can look in like through the window, an unbiased person and say, well, if you cleaned up here, if you do this over there, whatever the case is, this outside person will be able to um, come in and really bring 
a different perspective to your situation. What else do we have here? So yes, this darkness, this darkness, sometimes, uh, sometimes moving into the darkness and doing something that you haven't done before, um, it can be scary. It can be very, very scary, but that does not mean that it's bad. Well, there we go. Sorry guys, hold on. Hey, before we were rudely interrupted by my animals, I apologize. Um, and for some reason, they really, really, really like you guys. So, cause look, there's one of them right there. Okay. She's gonna hang out, I guess, with you guys. And the other one is right behind her. So we were at darkness. So yes, going through the darkness sometimes can be scary. It can be um, lonely. It can be frightening, but have the courage because you don't need this anymore. You don't need this anymore. You don't need to feel closed off and you don't need to feel uh, pain. You don't need to go through the heartache or the debt or the financial insecurities that are making you suffer or making you struggle. You have what everybody else has. And if you don't, you can get it. You have that choice. We are all capable of creating our own reality. But sometimes walking through the darkness um, is the only way to get to the light. And, and so um, we also have... Uh, spontaneous and intuitive creation. That's a really pretty card. We have the third house messages and life's debts. I knew this had to do with something like that. Well, I guess life's debts wouldn't necessarily be debt in particular. Um, life's debt. Life's debts, if I can talk correctly, is more like um, your karmic patterns. And once you understand karma, it is not um, reaping what you sow, but it is kind of. So, you know, let's just say for instance, the that car cut you off. Um, they're not gonna get cut off because karma's a bitch. That's not how that's not how karma works or if somebody steals from you. They don't get a lot of things stolen from them because you know, they're reaping their karma. Karma comes in different forms. When you understand, you know, karma is life's, um, just your lessons, what you're, what you're here in this world to play through. If, if your karma is patience and you have to learn patience, you're not going to, you're not gonna not get, you're gonna go through lots of situations where you have to find your patience. That's what life will throw at you. Um, if you're looking for, to get out, you know, financial freedom and to get out of debt, you're going to go through life to give you opportunities to show you how to do that. Um, that is what karma is. And that's what these cards are telling you is that there are situations inside of you. There is, um, messages of messages that life steps this this is very temporary this heartache and this pain it's all temporary and it's all easily um changed through you because you can change your reality the life's debt you know that's your how you speak how you communicate in the third house it's um it reveals how you think how you think about things, how you think things work and how they don't work and how you feel and how you need to change these situations. Um, the answers that you're searching for are all around you and they come from going through situations that hurt uh, life's lessons, you know, if everything was sunshine and roses, you wouldn't learn anything. Um, only in the darkness, only through the trials and only through the pain is when we truly find out who we are, when we truly find ourselves. And um, that's what I'm seeing here is that it's time to change what isn't working and find out what works for you and, um, and what doesn't and to really go within really create in your reality something um, that responds m more clearly to who you are because you deserve it. 
you deserve it. And it may be scary, but it's time that you show yourself how strong that you are. So if this resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up, comment down below, let me know how this resonated with you and we can go from there. And if you would like a reading, you just give me an email or let me know and we will set something up for you. I love you guys. I hope this message um, comes to you with great love. Love, light, namaste. Bye. Hello, group number four. We have a special guest with us today. <laughs> Her name is Suki and she loves everyone very much. She is <laughs> a mismarked mosaic lab. In case you were wondering, that is my Suki girl. And she is full bud lab, but one of her chromosomes didn't mix properly. So she's going to sit here and let us know all about it, apparently. <clears throat> okay, so today you guys picked number 44. 44 is a mastered number, and when added up, you have an eight. Um, eights are like a movement and mass reward, rewards and accomplishments. You've been working hard. You have been finding out who you are. You have been, uh, trusting in yourself and in others, and you have been putting yourself out there. I feel with card number pile number four, I feel that you guys are just moving right along and, it, and just you're attaining, you're getting fulfillment, you're moving towards your mastery, you're moving towards accomplishment, um, whether it's accomplishment and success, business success or partnership success. I'm feeling lots of love and lots of um, unconditional happiness. So I'm feeling a lot of goodness in these cards. So let's start with the tarot and let's see what we got. First, we have the Knight of Swords, so new thought processes and quickly thinking of how things can be and what's going to interact. We've got the Ten of Cups. We've also got the Nine of Wands. We have Six of Wands and Daughter of Swords. Okay. It's, it's a lot of happiness springing forward, I feel. Um, we have uh, this Knight of Swords and the Daughter of Swords. They're highly energetic beings. They're uh, motivated, for sure. There's um, um, a, a thinking process. The swords are air, so there's, there's a mental clarity. There's mental promise. There's happiness, a happy home. Um, completion with this emotional love that I'm feeling and standing true and standing tall through all of the things that you have gone through, maybe through all the different loves that you've had. You've kissed a lot of frogs to get to that prince. I'm feeling just, I feel very connected to um, love with the loving energy with this pool. I feel that we are moving forward and we also have dog paws in the picture. <laughs> There's a couple. Look, there's one and two. It's a couple. It's wonderful. <laughs> one and two. I don't know why I saw that. Anyways. Okay. We have trust. You've put your trust in yourself. You've put your trust in your partner and your life in general and what you've been creating. The reality that you're bursting forward and creating for yourself. It's very beautiful. I'm seeing a very positive future. Yes. Very, very positive in this spread. Um, just keep going with what you're doing roots put your roots in what you're doing build strong foundational roots in this you're in my way ma'am ma'am hey move <laughs> people can't see we have one left and it is partners of the seventh house <laughs> no out of the way okay um, so yes, I am seeing that your roots, your positive future, the trust and what you've been going with your partnership, with the partnership in business, in your relationship of your family or in your love life, this partnership is exactly where it needs to be. This is where you plant your strong foundational roots. This is where all your hard work is paying off. This is a very beautiful card pool, my friends. 
I apologize for my dog wanting to be in the way, but she loves your card pull. She loves it so much and she's giving it so much energy. I see to attain what it is that you're trying to obtain and what you're trying to accomplish with the energies that you're holding on to in your, in your relationship, that this is exactly where you need to be. Trust in the process and make sure your dogs lay on your cards. <laughs> if this resonates with you at all, <laughs> then please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you could just let me know, give me a comment. Let me know how this resonates with you. Um, maybe your dog's all over your cards. Maybe that's what's resonating. Who knows? She also likes to snore when she's awake. Don't you? Are you snoring? You're a good girl. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Again, thank you so much. We love you. And we hope the very best for you, Sophia and I, and card pile number four. You guys are awesome. Love, light, namaste, and a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.